so this video is going to be about electrolytic cells and um, our experiment or demonstration of one so this is a very basic some may say poor diagram of a electrolytic cell just to explain that we're going to be doing uh, copper and zinc for the anode and cathode respectively and using copper, copper sulfate as the solution and then we're connecting them with a power source uh, of 1.5 volts. We're starting with uh, 200 mils of 0.25 molar copper sulfate and we're just going to add in a piece of copper and a piece of zinc which are connected to the positive and negative ends, positive for the copper anode and negative for the zinc cathode. And we're just going to add them into the solution together without touching and turn on a 1.5 voltage between them and they should start electroplating. So we've now turned off the voltage, and as you can see, the copper has partially uh, been stripped, and it has deposited itself onto the zinc in this black layer. And we can now measure and see the difference on a scale. So putting the zinc onto the scale, we can see that we get around 3.32 as our final mass, and then with the copper, we measure a final mass of about 11.17, which we can then compare to our start masses and calculate a change of about 0 0.01 grams for each element. So what calculation that you may need to complete uh, relating to electrolytic cells could be calculating the amperage based off the data you have collected. So the way you would go about this is by using um, Q equals NF, um, N being the moles of electrons that are transferred, which you can find via writing out the half reactions, which for our example is... Um, Cu2 plus plus two electrons and Zn2 plus plus two electrons. Now with this you can easily see that it's just two moles of electrons that are being transferred and then F is just Faraday's constant which is 96,500. Now with this, you will calculate that um, Q is equal to 193,000 coulombs. And with this, you can just calculate amps by using the knowledge that amps is coulombs per second. So you can just do I equals Q over T which gives us 93,000 over, for us, it ends up being about 600 seconds, which equals around 322 amps. The number 322 as our amperage is really not very reasonable for the demonstration that we did, but this simply comes from the inaccuracies that we had with measuring and just the duration of the demo that we did but the calculations still remain the same and with more accurate measurements and numbers you can use this same process to find the correct amperage. One of the major real-world applications of electrolytic cells is electroplating um, especially on the industrial level such as shown in this image um, electroplating in the real world can be used for 
multiple different purposes. Uh, primarily, it can be for appearance, to simply just make something look better in a different metal. Protection, so metals that resist corrosion better or other situations that a metal may be put through or just to adopt specific properties that might be needed for engineering or mechanical uh, reasons. Now, um, electroplating also has some issues with efficiency and the environment. For example, um, the solutions that are used in electroplating can sometimes need to be replaced and the wastes can be dumped into the environment. And also there's the inefficiencies that come along with it, such as um, inefficient cables or inefficient connections in general can result in the loss of energy transferred from the power source to the metals being plated.